Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers. Oh man, I am very, very sad and disappointed to do this video for you guys today, right now. Um, so as you guys know, if you guys watch the Curry 6, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you guys already know. If you guys watch the Curry 6 review, you guys already know. But And also the Chop Shop. But yeah, I, we, we did this to the Curry 6. Ah... <sighs> So you guys already know uh, that colorway of my Curry 6 when I was playing it, the rubber did peel off. And that was a huge, huge disappointment because the shoe is just awesome, man. Like, the traction is good, the cushion is awesome, like, impact protection is pretty good, but still re responsive and court feel is really nice. Materials are very thin and comfortable. Probably one of the most minimal feeling shoes out right now. And uh, it's just a great, great shoe to play in, especially for a guard. So Under Armour saw my, saw our review and saw you know the post on Instagram and stuff like that. So they were like, "Oh yeah, sorry about that. We know about the the problem. Uh, we know about the issue. Here is uh here is another pair, right here. We're gonna send it out to you guys." So I was like, "Oh, all right, thank you." Uh, and uh, I got it like I think a week ago. I played in this like four or five times. So. I was I was happy, you know, like I was like, oh, this is actually holding up well. It seems like it's a little bit more durable, which we'll get into. And I was playing in it, and uh, th so the uh, the initial the the white and blue pair that I had, I felt it right away because the the entire ru uh, rubber part, you know, this part came off, like it was a huge rip, and uh, it was because I was doing I think it was a crossover or like a cut or something like that. And, you know, right when it happened, I was like, what the? And I felt something underneath my foot. I looked and I was like, oh shit, you know, the rubber came off. So, but this, that's not what happened with this pair. I was just playing. I was like, I, I didn't even notice it. And then um, uh, after I was done playing, I was like, oh, I, w I wonder how the durability is. I checked this side. I was like, oh, it's pretty good. And I checked the other side. I was like, what the, you know, like, what the heck? This part actually ripped off. So uh, I didn't really notice it too much. I actually didn't notice it at all while I was playing, but... I had to look at it and I saw that it did rip off. Not a huge chunk, not as bad as the, you know, my blue colorway, but it still did rip off. And obviously, you know, if I keep playing it, it's gonna rip off more and more because you know it's it's on this side, and when I do a lateral movement, it's putting a lot of force on this. So um, it is a design flaw. Shout out to I think it was Average Baller, AVG Baller, where he noticed that uh, on one of Curry Curry's PEs, the outsole is actually one piece. So maybe I, I don't know if Under Armour knew about this and they gave him a gave him a one piece you know PE or something like that. But why not just recall all of the these shoes and you know make it a one piece out so that that would solve all of the problems you know because I don't think a better glue is going to work. Maybe uh, gluing the rubber to the hover is the problem and it, it, the the glue doesn't really want to you know glue to hover cushioning i don't know what the problem is but yeah it is a design flaw i don't know why you put an exposed midsole like this you know uh, also an another thing that i did notice is that the rubber is fraying off as well on the solid rubber uh performance was exactly the same though so, uh, performance the the outsole performs really well sticks like glue picks up really like no dust so performance is there it's really good rubber it's just, you know, it does fray off and obviously this does rip off, so it is a design flaw. You know, obviously we got this colorway Under Armour sent to us, so... I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know if I can really recommend it for you guys, you know. I Also, I did have a few more people send over a picture of the, of the Curry 6 the durability ripping off. So, uh, a very sad day. I love playing this shoe. This shoe was awesome. Uh, the only thing I think they can do right now is just you know make another shoe and you know put a one piece outsole on it because that's that's the only thing i can see uh, that will fix this problem because glue isn't going to do it and even if it is a good, good strong glue if you're doing a lot of ladder movements the rubber is ev eventually going to rip off so um very sad day there i don't know how this got you know approved for the final design, like was Under Armour not testing this? And if they did have testers, did, did this not happen to them? You know, I, I don't know how this happened, but it does suck. And like I said, it does suck really bad because this shoe is awesome to play in. But anyway, just wanted to update you guys. Uh, didn't want, I didn't expect to be doing this video so soon, but you know, there's that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope we helped you guys out and we'll see you guys next one. Peace.